in this next talk, uh, I want to address the issue amongst the nations that are in South Africa, more especially, or even the nations in the world. You know, we talk of yellow, pink, and white people. In the actual sense, it's black and white. There are people who regard themselves as whites, and there are those who regard themselves as blacks. But there is an attitude problem between these two nations, where blacks, uh, especially in Africa, think that this is yeah, their land, and they don't want anybody else but an African to own the land. And the whites uh, are saying they discovered this land, although they were Africans, even then, but they say they discovered it, so it belongs to them. So there will be that bad attitude amongst this nation, and this needs to be sorted out because we are in now in this dilemma, and uh, it's only up to us that uh, we need to sort this problem out. We cannot uh, solve the problem by chasing the whites away, or, we, or whites cannot solve the problem by ex exterminating, exterminating the blacks. Because that was once the idea that uh, there should be something called birth control so that uh, blacks should not, um, you know, multiply in the, in the manner that they are doing. And that did not work. Africa will always for will, will always be for blacks. Uh, whites have come to Africa and they have uh, colonized uh, blacks and taken over and ruled blacks. But uh, they rose, blacks rose, and uh, uh, brought about something called independence. Now, there was no independence in Africa, but independence was a word coined by Europeans that uh, we will colonize you and then you will fight back and we will call that independence. Africa has always been independent, uh, not from anybody. It was just a nation created by God for Africans, just like any other nation. So we are now stuck with whites. And what do we do with them? We cannot tell them to go back. Because if they go to Holland, for instance, the Africaners in South Africa, um, their language is exactly the same language as the, the, the Dutch language that is spoken in Holland. People like uh, that uh, soccer star uh, Stephen Pinar and McCarthy went there and uh, were comfortable because the language is not is not different at all. It's just a few words here and there that are different. But if you speak Afrikaans to somebody who's speaking Dutch, you will understand each other. So we are saying, fortunately for the Dutch, we did not force them to change their names to Zulu, Lamini, or Mutelezi, or Mangope, or Sekukune, all the, 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 Af the African surnames. We, we let them uh, uh, keep their they are their names. So we've got Van Arts, Van der Merve, um, uh, uh, Snyder, all those uh, Dutch names, they've kept them, which makes it easy for us to trace their roots in Holland and make sure that we negotiate with whoever is a leader in Holland to say, let us work together because I think we need each other for the purpose of trade. Uh, let us see a situation where we produce maize in Africa in order to go and feed the cows, cattle, horses in Holland with the feed from South Africa. That will be a great opportunity that will create jobs. So we need to do these negotiations, trade negotiations with this country where this uh, whites came from, including England. There is so many English-speaking people in South Africa today. We can use them because they are from England. Their land is still there. It, it can never be taken away because they were born in England. They were born somewhere. They were born in the air. They were born in a certain land that belonged to them. So they can go still uh, go and uh, claim that land in order to do for us to do business with um, with with the English and the the the, the Dutch. 
So uh, those are the talks that we need to start in the future. And um, the same thing with the uh, blacks in America, that these people were kidnapped from Africa. Obviously, they had a portion of land that belonged to them. In fact, Africa, the whole of Africa belonged to any African. There was, there was no such thing as, um, as a title deed to say this African belongs here. We would only differentiate by chief that a certain group of people belong to a, a particular chief. So the, the issue of blacks in America needs also to be debated. Uh, we are, with me and my students are going to start a debate around reparations around the kidnapping of blacks to America in order to go and work in the cotton fields and uh, working uh, in the plantations in America for nothing. And uh, all we need to say is that those people have a legacy in Africa, which is their land. We cannot take their land and give it to people who came from Holland and say it now belongs to people from Holland. And yet the, the beneficiaries of that land are in, are in Michigan, California, New York, everywhere in, uh, in Africa, in the South, uh, in uh, Mississippi, um, all those, uh, uh, all those uh, 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 states in, in the South. They, those people are there, and Africa belongs to them. So we need to start that debate and find a way to bring them back. Right? Also, when it comes to nations that are fighting amongst, uh, amongst each other, there's a problem of Palestinians fighting with the Jews. And the Jews are superior because they are, they are supported by America, which is a superpower. And the Palestinians, nobody wants to support them because they, um, they are Islamic. Is Islam tends to think that they are better than any other religion in the world. And uh, that is why they start suffering. People are reluctant to help the Palestinians because of their religion. But uh, South Africa loved Yasser Arafat um, uh, and uh, Russia as well. The Soviet Union loved Yasser Arafat, although I know that uh, there would be a problem with the religion because there's this uh, myth that uh, Islam is better than any other religion in the world, which means one day we'll have a problem where Islam will say everybody should be um, converted to, is to Islam for anybody to, you know, to be accepted. So I think that will come. That's why we've got ISIS today. We've got um, the, the ISIS, we've got the Boko Haram. All those people are, are saying any other religion is madness. The only religion that should be accepted is Islam. That's another problem for another day. But all I'm saying is that the Jews were persecuted in Germany. So now, the continuous, continued persecution of Palestinians by Jews says something to us. And I don't, I hate to say Hitler was right. I don't want, I'm asking, I'm pleading with, the, with Israel to not to make the world think that Hitler was right by persecuting that nation. Because the cruelty that is meted against Palestine makes the whole world sympathetic to them, which means there is something wrong with Jews. And I don't want to do that because I know Jews have done favors. They have been good people, training people in law, training people in science. Uh, today we've got atomic bomb that was um, firstly done by a Jewish guy, Einstein. So we do not want a situation where people will sympathize with Palestine and say Jews are cruel. Israel should allow the, the solution where there will be two states uh, living next to each other 
which is one Palestine and the other Israel. That will be the solution. So this uh, continued invasion of the, the 1967 border borders and settling in the in the land that was meant to be for Palestine, it should stop. And they should reverse those settlements and let the Palestinians live peacefully in their country under their own government. And the Palestinians too should stop attacking with bombs and all those tunnels that they are they are digging trying to uh, erase uh, the Jews from the face of the earth. It's not going to happen. There will always be an Israel state. Unfortunately, this was caused by that uh, Second World War. You know, it came after Hitler had done to what he did to the Jews. Otherwise, without the Second War, we wouldn't have a problem in Palestine today. So, let the Jews and the Palestinians live in peace.